I'm tired. I don't want to do anything. What's wrong with you? You know, we've been arguing for the past couple months, and it's... Everybody's liking it, but you need to show your fucking face. You know that, right? I can show myself. See? Right here. Finally. See, I'm not just arguing with myself. I'm arguing with myself. I can do the intro if you want me to. I will do the intro. You're not doing it again. You can go fuck yourself. What's going on, guys? I even messed it I up. You messed it up. What's, What's up, guys? guys? My, My name's Rick Sir, and welcome, welcome to another, another vlog. vlog. Roll the intro! Intros are hard. That's two red lights that motherfucker ran. And of course I don't get a red light or a green light. Motherfucker. Ah, God damn you old piece of shit. Gotta scrub in this new back tire. Scrub it in good. New offer, there's so much to be enjoyed. The pleasures of insomnia are ones I can't avoid. Oh, so it has been an interesting uh, last few weeks. Uh, as some of you know, as most of you know, I have partnered with CG Key Tags. Been working with them for a little while and getting everything uh, situated, you know, signing or you know, signing paperwork, taking care of fees and shit like that, uh, getting the design together, and I think they turned out wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna have the little infographic thing on my videos from now on, <laughs> at least for while I'm partnered with them, which I plan on staying with them for a long time because they're really cool people. Me and one of the, I think she's the owner, or one of the owners or something, uh, or higher up in it, uh, we were talking back and forth on emails for the longest time and you'll get an email from her whenever you order something like a thank you email I think it's auto generated but still it's pretty it's pretty cool that you know they they do that so I have ordered four key tags to do a giveaway uh, one of them I'll probably keep if they don't send me one just you know because it's mine but I have ordered four I'm gonna do a giveaway for three coming soon and the street rod nationals are this weekend and why would you go buy a ticket to the street rod nationals when you can just drive around outside of the fairgrounds and see all the fucking awesome cars or you can do like what I did last night oh wow this guy made it real far I saw your two red lights, you bitch. Or you could do what I did last night and just go to one, a popular parking lot and see all the cars that are there. And see burnout contests and races and all kind of shit. Oh, two of them. Oh, one of them was a Roadrunner. Oh, that was my dad's car. I mean, that one back there wasn't my dad's car, but that was his favorite car. It was a 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. So, update on the maintenance for the Clitana. I have done an oil change. I put new brakes front and rear. The rear really needed it. And new rubber front and rear. And I cleaned the chain, tightened it up, but when I did the back tire, I basically put it back to where it was before I tightened it. So I need to tighten it again. Tightening chains is hard. What am I gonna eat this morning? I got an hour before I need to get to work. I could do Waffle House, but that's that way. Uh, I don't know. I'm starting to not like the working on the weekends as much. Yeah, I went to, I went, <laughs> I went to that parking lot with the uh, where all the, the hot rods and shit were and they were doing their burnouts, they were lining up and everything. I'm standing at the line and <laughs> every one of them that passed by with their window down, I would either ask a woman if she wants a real man or I would, ask, or I would tell them to do a wheelie. <laughs> 
Like, does it really? This one guy in a slam Cadillac goes by with his hydraulics. He's got his front end up, but I'm like, no, really? Pop the front end up. He's like, no. People think just because they use a signal, they can just get over. First thing, never change lanes in the middle of a fucking turn because you really can't check your blind spot while you're focusing on a turn. Now, I'm lucky that guy did. Second, just because you're using your goddamn turn signal doesn't mean that you can fucking go ahead and change lanes. You still have to check, make sure you're clear, make sure nobody's going to fucking rear end you or that you're going to run anybody off the road. Admittedly, I'm guilty of neglecting my shoulder check. Not all the time, but every now and then I'm either tired or, you know, not fully focused. We all have those moments. Nobody can say that they're always fully focused while they're driving. The only reason I get pissed off at some of these people for, you know, texting and shit like that is because they probably do that shit all the time. Like, I have followed people for miles that were just on their phone the entire time. But fucking annoying. Ooh, am I gonna get this turn all to myself? Yeah. It's so bumpy that whenever I go to adjust my footing before this turn, my feet don't hit the right spot. Guess I could grind down my right toe slider a little bit more. Okay. There we go. Grind it. Grind it. Grind it some more. There we go. Why does he have a fender badge on a Volkswagen? Or is that a guy? Punch bug. Pow! And somebody did. <laughs> When you have a new tire, all you do is burnouts. Damn it. And this is why key tags are great. Boop. Just pull your key right out. And you know where to find mine. Oh, I need to check my text messages. It's supposed to have a date tonight. No text messages. Nice. Oh wow, well, he's special. So I'm in a conundrum. I've got this person who I got her number from. She wants to go for a ride. But she doesn't want to wear a helmet or a jacket or anything. And I told her I don't ride with people on the back of my bike when one or both of us are not wearing a helmet. You have to have a helmet. Mainly because I've been in two wrecks, and I believe that the helmets helped out quite a bit. Especially when one of them I landed on my fucking head. But, you know, I'm like, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? I don't think it is. But anyway, I'm just waiting for a text from her to come back. And, or to call me, or text me, or whatever. And then, probably go for a ride and everything. And, well, if she doesn't want to ride with me, she'll ride with somebody else. Because apparently it's a group of people. So, oh well. I'll just be riding with an empty helmet on the back of the Clitana. And that's why you keep your dogs on a leash. Go creature, go. It's another day for you and me in paradise. So sad he can't wait. She knows it's too late as she were walking on by. How's it going? 12 seconds later. <gasps> oh, you want my number? This is sweet. <laughs> so sweet. Dude, I got new rubber on the front and rear, and it's so slippery. Be like, jo oh, fuck my hat. Just, oh, well. This record driver's trying to get over, and everybody's fucking blocking him one by one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love that sound. How long y'all been here? We just pulled out from the photo on top of Broadway. You get a ticket? Did you get a ticket? No. There's no license plate because this is right here. Uh.
Is your GoPro going? Is the red light flashing? Yes, sir. Well, then it's going. You guys should join Rookster.com on YouTube. Yeah, Rookster.com on YouTube. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> And right, I'll spin. Do it? Yeah. Huh? I said they done enough racing. Yeah. Wah wah, you guys shut down because you're a little bitch. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, I had a good night out riding. I enjoyed myself. I was supposed to have what I was hoping would end up being today, but it wasn't. But you never know what it could end up being because she's cute. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Some interesting stuff that happened this week. I'll catch you all up real quick. Kali's new cage. He found a hole. I thought somebody was in my house one day or one evening and I thought it was Mini Rook. It wasn't. So I was like, hey, you know, if anybody's in the house, I'm going to blow your fucking head off. And then I'm sitting over in my chair and I hear something like a bag rustling. And I listen. I take an ear cup off the headphones. I listen. And I heard it. I look over and I see him over in the corner of the damn living room. I'm like, holy shit. So I get him, pick him up, do some Instagram posts and, you know, put him back in his cage and I fixed the hole. Also, I uh, told you about the key tag thing. What else? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I need to get some new pegs for the Klitana, the Suzaki Katana. I'll tell you what, every new person that I meet, they wonder if I've ever seen that video of the Suzaki Katana. No, I haven't. PRI stands for practical, practically racing inspired. RES stands for really extra sporty. Something like that. I don't know. I've seen the video. Duh. Hit day. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate all you guys watching. I appreciate everybody so far who has gotten or pre ordered their Rooks or Key Tags. And for those of you who don't know, these are Key Tags. This is a Suburban Delinquent Key Tag. Uh, you can get his, his website. I am sponsored by CG Key Tags. Um, link in the description of every video from this last Tuesday and this video moving forward. A link will be in the description, and I need to put one in the channel description as well. Um, so yeah, pick up your Key Tags and stuff. I think I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have stickers on there as well. They're gonna be blue and red, blue and black. Just gonna be the outline of my logo. And yeah, appreciate all you guys watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe. And as usual, I whoa, I fucked that up. And as usual, I will see you guys online. Peace. Stranded.